I know, right? Yo, guess what? I got my first pocket money today. You got like several times. Fine, then. What did you do with it? Bro, I got new clothes. I got this. Huh? I got this watch and I my guitar tuner. What are you going to do? I am going to invest in the stock market. Hey folks, see you Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to another interesting video which is about investing for teens. And I'm sure the very first question that might have struck in your mind is that we are not teens. Is this video really for us or not? So this video is for teens. It is for the parents of teens. It is for uncles and aunties of teens. So in short, it's for everyone, right? So in this video, we are going to talk about a lot of points. Something like, can teenagers invest in the market? What is the ideal age of starting to invest in the market, why to start investing at such an early age and very important, where to invest. All these very interesting points are coming in the entire video. So don't forget to watch the video till the end. But before that, I would really like to thank Rajesh Venkat Raman and Saurabh Singh for the amazing words of appreciation. You too, I hope you are watching this video as well. And now the big question, whether minors who are teenagers, can they really invest in stock market or not? For that, you have to understand there are two important accounts which are required to invest in the stock market. One is known as a trading account and the other one is known as a DMAT account. Trading account is required to buy or sell shares. But what will you do when you buy the shares? Will you have to store them somewhere? Exactly. You store them in the DMAT account. Now that you are aware about both these accounts, question is, can these accounts be opened by the parents? And they are confused? Yes. They are allowed to open both DMAT account as well as trading account. And that is the reason why they'll be easily, I mean, they will easily be able to invest in the stock market. Simple deal here. Now comes the minor and minor is confused. Oops. Minor will be able to have only a DMAT account. Minor is not able to open a trading account here. So what will the, Rona uh, Rona is feeling bad. Don't worry. What is the option here? Understand. So option is that let's say these parents are giving some pocket money to this minor. Instead of that, what parents can do is from that pocket money, they can maybe buy units of mutual fund. Just for your knowledge, you can buy index fund units starting from as low as 100 rupees. Okay. So what can parents do? Parents can buy units of mutual fund or some share, whatever they want. And then they can gift these shares or units of mutual fund in the account of minor. Minor is now happy. See, got shares and units. No, minor is happy. Now the question is that if this transfer of shares is involved or transfer of units is involved, are there any charges involved here or not? Answer is again, yes. If you want, you can check out my video on gifting of shares. Your certain charges are involved. One last point is that whenever some income occurs or accrues on these assets, in our example, let's say some shares were transferred to this minor's account and some dividend is received. Okay. Who will have to pay tax on that? The tax on this money will be taxed in the um, in the hands of the parents, not in the hand of the minor. Out of these two parents, which parent whose income is higher? That, that parent will have to pay the taxes on this. Unfortunately, if the minor doesn't have parents, then what? Then the same process repeats for a legal guardian of the minor. Well, before we move on and understand the benefits of investing at an early age, I believe that we as parents or elders in the family, we ourselves should check whether we are investing in a very systematic manner or not, whether we are investing in a disciplined manner, whether we are investing in a goal-based manner. Because the kids in our family, for them, we are the role models. So if we invest in a systematic, disciplined and goal-based manner, so will our kids follow us and they will also try and meet this benchmark. So how can you proceed with this? Whenever you are going to make your next investment, make sure that your kids or the teenagers in your family, they sit besides you and you explain them how this entire investment journey works. Let me give you an example for this. So Ria, what do you want to become when you grow up? Engineer. Wow, that's amazing. But you know, engineering is pretty expensive and we need to plan for it like from today itself. Okay, so how do we plan it? What do we do? Um, okay, wait, I'll show you a very easy way to do that. 
say Windmill Capital has come up with horizon portfolios which are investments tied up with a time based goal these investments are done and managed by sebi registered professionals in etfs gold and bonds further when we commit ourselves to an sip in a mutual fund or say ulip or endowment plan we have to invest a specified amount every month however with investing in horizon portfolios we get the flexibility to invest any amount of money as we all know that there can be certain unplanned expenses that can come in our way for example in some month if you have more you can invest higher amount of money and in some month if you have lesser money you can choose to invest less also these investments are rebalanced periodically in order to suit the time based goal in the initial years there will be a higher exposure towards index etfs and as the time passes by and as you reach nearer to your goal the weight in bonds and gold is increased and towards index is reduced so if you want to know more just check out the link in the description box below All right now that you have understood that even teenagers will be able to invest in stocks or in mutual funds may not be directly but indirectly through their parents or legal guardian the big question is why to do that are there any benefits of starting early answer is obviously yes we are going to focus on three major benefits of starting to invest early the very first one is time time is on your side so i'll give you simple examples for that assume that yesterday i went to this beautiful garden and i sowed a nice mango seed and you know today what has happened asa nahi na hona this will not happen so will it take time for the mango tree to grow fully and to bear nice fruits obviously yes similarly when you invest money will this happen on the next day not at all none of these is going to happen on the next day it will take time for your investments to grow to a decent enough amount and then you will be able to enjoy the investment returns so if you start early you will be able to generate those much returns earlier so number 1 time is on your side number 2 there is time to learn when you are at the age of 25 26 you are slogging at in your offices at that that time you are going to learn or this is a very good age to learn about financial concepts my answer is this is the right age in fact the summer vacations are almost there may month is almost there and i'm sure tumhi gaubar mujhe bomlat phirat asnar hai tema you will be just playing the whole day instead of that why not devote maybe 15 to 20 minutes to watch one video to learn one new concept and i'm sure by the end of your summer vacation you will be in a position to gain such an amazing amount of knowledge right it will be really beneficial for you all so second one why to start investing early is there any benefit yes you have the time to learn and the th- and the third point which is very important is that this is the time to make mistakes and this is the time to experience failure now why am i saying so this is because even if you make certain mistake okay maybe you invest in a wrong mutual fund how much money you going to invest 100 rupees per month maybe on an upper end 500 rupees per month okay and you experience oh this was a wrong choice this category of mutual fund is not fetching me good enough returns okay will this impact your entire family's financial planning no it's just a small amount that you're trying out with right but if when you grow up you start experimenting with thousands and thousands of rupees can that create problems yes so better learn through mistakes and better experience failure at a younger age itself so i hope you have understood the very first benefit of starting to invest early that's the second benefit generate your own wealth i'll give you a simple example as you start investing just 500 rupees per month from the age of 15 and you do this sincerely every month till the age of 25 and assuming you are getting 12% you have invested your money in an index fund i'll tell you what is an index fund in the coming few uh, in the coming few minutes but assume you invest in the index fund you will get say 12% returns at the age of 25 you'll have more than 1 lakh rupees with you now you can imagine at the age of 25 if you feel that i want to have my own startup you know at that point there are many children who will be in a confusion that how can i ask money from my parents they have been supporting me for my education for such a long time and still should i ask money from them instead of that if you have started discipline in investing from the age of 15 at the age of 25 you have your own wealth you have your own startup fund and can you chase your dreams with this and again answer is absolutely yes the third point the third benefit is that you will surely get an opportunity to improve your spending habits i'll just give you a simple example what my mom did my mom used to give 
what I, I I don't remember the exact amount, but say fifty rupees every month to me and to my brother. And we were told to journalize all the expenses. Okay, I remember I used to write uh, one candy, chocolate candy, one rupee or whatever. And at the end of the month, my mom used to tell me, show us, show show me whatever you have written. So me and my brother we used to submit our diaries. She used to check, okay, everything is written. And the person who has saved more would get additional ten rupees benefit. And obviously, majority of the times, I was the winner. I know, I know. Okay, so that is how you can surely improve your spending habit if you start at an early age. So I hope you have understood all the three benefits of starting early. Now let's try and analyze what could be the ideal age of investing. You know, typically everyone says Warren Buffett started investing at the age of eleven. So does that mean everyone has to start investing at the age of eleven or not? Or Is twenty five the ideal age to start in to start your investing journey, or what? What could be an ideal age for that? Let me just take you to my website, drakshanaranade dot com. Here I am going to the financial calculator section. What did I, what are we focusing on right now? Even if you are a teenager, are you going to invest lump sum or slowly, steadily every month? We are going to invest every month. That is called as an SIP, systematic investment plan. So let's take this as an example. Assume pocket money, parents allow you. Five hundred rupees for investing purpose. So five hundred rupee is your monthly investment amount. Okay, and you start investing at the age of fifteen. Your retirement age is assumed sixty, and the rate of interest. Let's take twelve again. Index fund reference. I'll tell you what is that. So twelve percent is the rate of interest. Any idea how much would you have at the age of sixty if you start investing only five hundred rupees per month? One lakh, ten lakh, one crore. Okay. Have a look at this. Yes, it is one crore, and if you see here, one crore eight lakh thirty four thousand six hundred and twenty. Okay, this is if you start investing at the age of twenty of fifteen. Sorry. Now everything else remains the same. You just start your race ten years late. Race of investing ten years late. You have started at the age of twenty five. Instead of one crore eight lakh, now we'll be left with. Thirty-two thousand forty-seven lakh. Oh, thirty-two lakhs forty-seven thousand six thirty-five. Instead of twenty-five, if you start this investing race at the age of thirty-five, then this becomes nine lakh forty-eight thousand eight hundred eighteen. If you start this, I know, but last one or two. If you start at forty-five, it will be two lakh fifty-two thousand, and at the age of fifty-five, then it will be only forty-one thousand. So please understand. Where is forty-one thousand? And where was it? One crore eight lakh. Amount is same. Everything else remains same. There's only one difference, and when you start, makes a huge difference. I hope you have understood what is the ideal age. The answer is earlier, the better. Well, by now you have already understood that can teens who are minors can they invest? Yes. You have understood the benefits of investing early. And yes, you have also understood what is the ideal age of investing. With this basic knowledge, now the next big question is that where to invest? Is it necessary that I have to invest in the stock market? I have to invest in the mutual fund, or how do I decide where to invest? And for that, let's have a look at this chart. Two types of parents, okay? Kind parents, as kind. Two types of parents. Which parents? A set of parents which cannot take risk, unfortunately, because of the financial conditions, they might not be in a position to take risks. And second set of parents who have the ability to take risks. Okay, if I talk about the first one, who don't have the ability to take risk, what should their children or nephews or nieces should do? They can start their investment journey by investing in something like FDs or maybe RDs. What are RDs? RDs are recurring deposits. So wherein you can invest. Hundred rupees per month, or even five hundred rupees per month, same. But instead of stock market or mutual funds, you invest in banks, banks FD or RD. Simple. Possibility number two, we said parents who have the ability to take risk. Here again, I have categorized them into further two parts. Number one, they don't have knowledge about stock market, and number two, they do have knowledge about stock markets. If they have knowledge about stock markets, it's easy. What can they do? Directly invest the money of their minors, their pocket money. They can directly invest in stock market. possibility number the other possibility where we said that parents do not have knowledge about stock market then the best option number 1 is you can check out my courses on my website rachnaranade.com have a look at it gain knowledge and then invest in stock market or possibility number 2 you can invest the money of your minors the pocket money you can invest in index mutual funds now what are index mutual funds they are nothing but you are investing in the top 50 companies of india 
okay all big names like reliance hdfc or it could be state bank of india or it could be larsen and tubro all the asian paints all these big names come up in the top 50 companies of india and you will be like oh my god but won't this be really expensive answer is no you will be able to invest in the top 50 companies of india with again as low as 500 rupees and some funds will allow you to invest with as low as even 100 rupees so i hope you have understood what i was referring to as index mutual funds it's nothing but uh, index funds it's nothing but a mutual fund which invests in top 50 companies which form part of nifty with this i hope you have understood you have gotten the answer to the question where to invest now let's come to the million dollar question whether you should invest in the names of miners or not you might misinterpret me so please watch this section of the video very carefully and then make your own decision whether you will be investing in the name of your miners or not let's take this as a case study there are two boys both of them are celebrating their 18th birthday today and they have become major okay but every human being is different right so this person is a person who is really mature and and the parents believe that he has his own independent thought process. He can make decisions on his own and doesn't get easily influenced by other people. Simple. And this person is a person who is not really very confident. He doesn't still have the ability to make his own decisions, gets easily influenced by other people and might give in for a wrong advice. He might listen to someone else's wrong advice. Simple. Absolutely different personalities now let's take a case that parents had their both respective parents had invested a lot of money in the name of their minors now that they are majors today now that they have turned major today what would happen is that now parents have zero control over the money that they have gifted to their minor because now they are major they can take their own decision now this person's parent parents might get a feel that okay our money is still safe this person is mature enough but the parents of this boy, they might get, I mean, they might be scared that if this person listens to someone else's wrong advice, he might spend the money, he might splurge the money in a way which was not desirable. I hope you are getting me. So I would request all the parents that do invest in the name of minor should not be a big problem, but don't go aggressive on this because you might not be yourself sure about how your child would be when he or she turns 18. I'm sure that all the teenagers right now are super excited for their summer vacations, but I would really request that make these summer vacations count why you can invest your time by watching few of our videos so that you will be more confident while starting your investing journey. Two main things before you start your investing journey is you should know how to set smart goals and you should also know some key financial concepts. So if you want to know how to set smart goals, you can click here. And if you want to know top 10 financial concepts, you can click here. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.